come up with. I can save that out as the uh, planet script and it'll start appearing in game. So I'll show you some of those. Let's see. Load. Oh, and the important thing about these is that they're also, well, they're not always great for playing creature game, but you could put a creature down on these and they can walk around. Um, and you can actually go down all the way to the surface and see that there's, there's interesting stuff happening here. Not so much on this one. This is kind of a flat planet. Um, but also you can see that when I hit regen, not regen, sorry, seed, uh, give it a different seed, it's always a slightly different planet because it's taking that seed as the value that controls the path along which these, all these effects are running. So here's kind of an ice planet with frozen rivers. Um, here's a floral planet. Here's something that's a little bit more terrestrial, but it's also got lots of mesas and broad rivers. These all regenerate really fast. If, you're, if you notice, they're each regening as I, pretty much as I click on them. Something that's got kind of weird space age craters. Um, can also, I can also make things that have sharp angles so that they look more technologic y. Um, really, what I'm trying to do is just get planets so that each planet you go to, you feel like you've never been to that planet before. So here's one that just has a bunch of weird Aztec textures on it. Um, and then, as Andrew showed you before, we had a bunch of the art-directed planets that we actually had somebody come in. Oops, that's not it. Um, we actually had somebody come in to show us what a good planet would look like, and we actually managed to hit a lot of the targets. So this is one of the pastry planets that that guy had come up with. And uh, let's see, the shiitake mushroom planet that he came with, that he came up with as well. So we, we really managed to hit all the things that we wanted to. You can see that this is a really fun planet from the ground level. It'd be fun to walk around as, as, in as a creature. Um, and so we get a lot of variety just from the terrain scripts. We've also got all the temperature atmosphere stuff as well. Um, so I can give this planet a really thick atmosphere or suck all the air out. Um, I can also freeze it into an ice ball, or I can slowly heat it up and make it into a lava planet. All right, I think that's everything.